a quick trick to solve the compound interest problems in the previous class we talked about how to solve the problem for simple interest and the solution for that here we would focus on the compound interest problem so let's say for a given compound interest the amount actually doubles in five years okay the amount would become eight times in how many years this is the question so we have to find out in how many years my amount would become eight times a very simple way to solve it i write it times and years right the amount become double that means two times in five years and eight times in unknown years now for this 2 and 8, what I do is I find out the exponent powers. So this become 2 raised to power 1 and this become 2 raised to power 3. 2 raised to power 3 is 8. 2 into 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8. So now I take only these exponents into account. I just ignore the base. The base is same, I ignore that. Now why we convert it into the exponents? Because the same happens with the compound interest formula. So that's the basic thing that you need to remember. Now I have to find out in how many years. How would I do it? The same thing. I would multiply this exponent value with the year and divide it with the, uh, the exponent of the preceding values here. So what I do is question mark is equal to 3 into 5 divided by 1 which is 15 by 1 that is 15. Therefore the amount becomes 8 times in 15 years and that's my answer i repeat again the process is pretty simple i have the times and the years which are given one of the years is unknown any of these four variables could be unknown the four values could be unknown i'll have to find out one how would i do that this values the times i actually convert it into exponents i ignore the base i take the powers into consideration and then I multiply this power with the previous year value and divide it with the power of the preceding one. So that is 3 into 5 divided by 1 and that would give me the years here. So that gives me 15 and 15 is my answer. A very simple formula for compound interest. We did a similar thing for simple interest. The formula remains same but here rather than taking the exponents and the powers of the exponents what we were doing we were doing times minus 1 and that was the only difference in the formula i was doing times minus 1 in both the cases and here we took the exponents and the value of the exponents into consideration and with just that difference we can solve the questions of compound interest so this was one of the quick tricks for compound interest problems very helpful for most of your aptitude examination specifically when you are running short of time if you are solving it for definitely a long answer question you can go by the formula and have the complete question solved but when you are working on mcqs running short of time this is one of the good tricks that you can apply we'll be discussing many such interesting tips stay tuned have a wonderful day